This is Kalabash Kemerezi, and this is our final program on the National Schools Science and Technology Fair 2014. The prize giving ceremony is just ahead. We will hear from the Duga Combined School and the Vigbutai Primary. Before that, we have four guys from St. Mary's College who have been experimenting with a project designed to tap energy from your body while you sleep to wirelessly charge your cell phone. Let us hear from the Coal Pits Jewel Thief. My name is Martin Powlett of Form 4, um, St. Mary's College. I'm here to demonstrate our project, the Cold Pitch Jewel Thief. What our project aims to do is convert the heat generated by our bodies into electrical energy that can be transmitted wirelessly to the surrounding environment. My name is Guy Samari from St. Mary's College, Form 5. In this, uh, in this we used a pair to tile, a Jewel Thief circuit and a wireless transmitting circuit. The Jewel 5 circuit extracts all the energy from the pelter tile, receives as a firmer electrical source. It then goes to a wireless transmitting medium, which then transfers the, the electricity wirelessly to the LED lamp which lights up. Now I give it to Sundar Jairi. My name is Sundar Jairi, St. Mary's College from 4. And we are dealing with the applications of the, the Cold Pits Jewel Thief circuit. Well, first of all, we realize that with tests, we have seen that this circuit can be able to produce 0.12% of St. Lucia's energy requirement. This is because in the cold pit circuit deals with difference in temperature and on average our body is 37 degrees Celsius and on average our bedroom temperature is about 21 degrees Celsius. That means there is a difference of 16 degrees Celsius and that 16 degrees Celsius will create a voltage of 3 point, uh, will create water, uh, an electrical charge of 3.70 watts. This means that if we provide these 20 tiles each to half of the St. Lucian population, that means that they are able to produce 30,902.4 kilowatts of electricity if they sleep for 8 hours per month. That is then able to produce 0.12% of St. Lucian's energy requirement using this circuit only by sleeping. I'm Michael Montrop. I'm here to tell you that while this may seem like a good idea, yeah, every good thing has its limitations. The limitations for this pellet tire tile are uh, it cannot be used for it cannot be used underwater, meaning that, that since it won't be able to absorb the heat, heat there will not be a temperature difference difference. Since these are made of ceramic, you cannot go beyond one hundred degrees Celsius Celsius. But you may not have to actually worry about that if you're using the human body to charge. Uh, and due to low budget costs, we could not actually distribute it, use it to, uh, to everyone in St. Lucia. So for recommendations, recommendations is you can actually use it in different places, such as your nightclubs, clubs, your airport terminals, nurse, or even your home to actually power on these appliances and other technology. So imagine, imagine having the pearl tire tiles on your bed and while sleeping, you will be able to charge your phone from across the room, since this is also a wireless circuit. My name is Kayla Peterson. I'm from Duga Combined School. The different topics are solar system, weather, energy, ecosystem, and matter and materials. My name is Hakim Shaman and my school name is Dugal Combined School. My name is Akela Joseph. I'm from the Dugal Combined School. The project is uh, the how you play the game. You must get a six to start. You roll again. If you get a five, you will start one, two, three, four, five. And the green ones are bonuses, so you go so the amount of objects they have, you go, you go the amount of times they show you. So you have four objects, so you go one, two, three, four times. Then you stop on purple, which is weather. We have some of the questions right here. We have all the questions about weather, energy and solar and solar system yellow is about solar system um out the host will be reading out the question and you will have 
30 seconds to answer the question. So the host will read this question. Which planet was renamed as a dwarf planet? They have, they have the answers at the bottom right here. And it is Pluto. There is the timer to set the time. So you have 30 seconds to answer the question. Yes, it is also helping children to learn uh, to um, be encouraged in science. Our names are Denzel Harris and Moses Harris. Our project name is Sinking Madness, and we come from the school of Vidbute Primary. We conducted this project so that we can find out if, ch if children were getting sick from the school. And what, what we proved, what, what results, results found that it came from a bacteria called Staphy locus, a foodborne disease. When the, this disease comes in contact with your food, you, you, suffer, you suffer from diarrhea and vomiting. Well, we used a petri dish to grow the bacteria, a microscope to view and determine what bacteria it was. We used a digital scale to weigh our agar, and we used agar to allow the bacteria to grow. Agar is a powder-like substance which contains nutrients to grow bacteria. We made a list of four different hand sanitizers or hand wash to determine which one was more effective against the bacteria. And we proved that Provon was the most effective one, and you could also get it free at the pastoral center. We mainly conducted this experiment because we noticed that children are getting sick at schools, and we wanted the government to provide schools with sensory pipes or footstool pipes so the children wouldn't have to touch the contaminated pipe. Our conclusion is that children should, buy, should, children should be allowed to go to school with the Provon hand wash so that they can be in a safe environment. Obviously, there are recommendations to be taken seriously to prevent the spread of germs, especially from contact with faucets and the handles of toilet bowls. These are recommendations from the Vibute Primary School. Still ahead, comments from the Chief Judge of the Science and Technology Fair, the Ministry of Education, and Mr. Motilal Singh, the Curriculum Specialist for Natural Sciences and Technology at Kamdu.